Now, from en- endless memes featuring the slap heard around the world to children being very enthusiastic about one vegetable, in particular, 2022 was another entertaining year on the internet. And if you've no idea what Martin's on about, we're going to explain to you now. So who better We to won't. look back on some standout online moments Than our guest, who's no stranger to go and viral themselves, comedian Michael Fry. Good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. Great to be with us. I saw the video that you did with this. It's just genius. Uh, looking back on 20, because there's so many moments that happened in 2022 you almost mm. forget about. But the big one really has to be that slap. Really? Yeah, is, it, yeah. is that like your, the number one moment in your opinion? I probably. I mean, I, I, you know, it's been such a long year. That people think it was like years ago. Do you know what I mean? I think things yes. that happened in February feel like two years ago. I think our perception of time is destroyed. We should say this is Will Smith, Will Smith and, and Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, people yeah, are yeah, just yeah. like, you know, what slap? I, 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 what's, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was crazy. That was a crazy night, you know? So, like, I don't know. Everyone was talking about that at the time and the memes that came out of it was fantastic. And then there was another, <laughs> there was a really, really funny interview oh, that came out afterwards. Oh, yes. I hope yeah. this email finds you well. How it found me, slap across the face. Yeah. When you first saw it, yes. I remember I was watching it live. Mm. Did you think it was set up or were you like, he's lost his mind? I think it was it was too strange to be a setup because what what is funny about that? You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it was such an odd thing to happen on live TV. You know, why would you do something like that? It's you like know? we came into it the next morning mm. and I remember we were discussing what's making you and then they said, have you not seen the slap? The slap. Yeah. Have you not seen yeah. what happened last night at yeah, the Oscars? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was, it was... I mean, uh, people forgot that Will Smith actually won an Oscar that night. You know? Oh yeah, he did. Best actor. Thank you, know? you. But they just remember that, so yeah. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> um, then um, there was a moment, there was other things that happened that night, yes. but Liam Payne from One Direction was on the red carpet. Yes. What happened on that red carpet, Michael? And people need to watch this. I know it's in your roundup, but this yes. is... Mwah. It's just extremely funny. I mean, it's just... Because you say red carpet, but it was after the ceremony. Yes. So they got him, unfortunately, at a time after he'd had a few drinks. You know, mm-hmm. And if you interview anybody after they've had a few drinks, you interview me in a taxi, a taxi home or whatever, I would say some really silly things. And Liam Payne tried to be profound about it and obviously it was not. So uh, just extremely <laughs> funny. Like my favorite thing was like, he was like, I'd like to reach out to Will right now. And it was like on GMB, I was like, I don't think Will Smith is watching Good Morning Britain, Liam, but you know. And also, he yeah. doesn't know who you are. Calm down, well, it's Will Smith. He's not. He's a big One Direction fan. Maybe he yeah. is a big One Direction fan, mm. but him being, I just think the world needs to come back together as one. It was yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. have had one too many. It's time to it's time to go home. <laughs> so we've all been there, guys. No one we wants have. to be put, put, put a camera in your face when you've had one too no many. No judgment. And we've all been there. Let's mm. uh, talk about a vegetable that, uh, oh no, we're going to go talk about uh, Leo Varadkar. Leo Varadkar, Yes. He's kind of had a few viral moments this year. We yes. talked about some of them, but the one that you decided to pick on was the Tupperware. Was the meal prep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a classic example of a politician uh, trying to be human and then <laughs> failing, I think. Um, and his poor Where partner. Are the yeah, look at that. I mean, I thought it was, uh, it looks like kind of like, you know, the, the pig's ears you can buy for dogs. Yes. In, uh, <laughs> in bad food shops, yeah. So apparently that was his partner who prepared that and he was quite annoyed that he was like, no, I'd make nicer food than that. And where are the lids? You know? <laughs> no. so, did he actually go around <laughs> taking all the lids off yeah. just for the picture to show people? Yeah, I think it? that he did. He, he did have to come out. So the Food Safety Authority had to come out <laughs> and yeah. comment on this and yeah. say, this is not the way that you should store your food in a fridge. You should have lids on. So there, that's Leo and the Food Safety Authority. Mm. I do think he enjoyed going viral for this. Yeah, like come absolutely. on, this is it's very better to go viral for that than anything else. Than for yeah. anything yeah. else <laughs> that he had. But how many Keep conversations? Keep a lid on it, Michael. What ha- <laughs> oh, Michael. Wow. Oh, very good. Michael. I have very had good. so many conversations <laughs> about this year. I couldn't get over it. Yeah, like people were very into Leo's dystopian fridge and his yes. meal prep. Yeah, and the, he, he's he's done this before. It was during uh, Pancake Tuesday. He put up a picture of the thinnest pancake possible a few years ago. So uh, he is formed for this. He's the, ba- the cake. The, the Battenberg cake, cake for oh, birthday. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to go, do you know what? You got a bit of money, get yourself chef. Just yeah. for a little while. Learn yeah, how to yeah, do yeah. it. Learn how to do it. <laughs> Now, uh, speaking of food, mm-hmm. there is something else that went viral. It is one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. We're going to take a look at um, this little video. We'll explain more in a second. No, 
now, please tell us about that video and that gorgeous little kid. Yeah, so basically he was interviewed, I think it was on a Chipotle or something like that, and he was asked why he likes corn so much. He was, he was amazed to see it and really, really passionate about it. And so the internet being the internet, somebody took the clip and decided to make a song out of it, which is... Fantastic, and it's all over TikTok. It's one of the most common sounds yep. in TikTok this year. So, um, yeah, it's a banger. Those, it's great. Like it's when I think song. of it, I like going. It's corn in the yeah, morning. Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. Do you not think? <laughs> yeah. Start playing it for your kids. I'm telling you, they'll love it. I love that. I'm going really down with the kids. They're going to love it. This is yeah. my favorite. I love this video. Right. Mm -hmm. So, it was, uh, I got in trouble yesterday for talking about buying my wife. Uh, Hoover for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I can imagine this Tipperary <laughs> TD. Can you imagine what he gets for his wife for Christmas? Let's take a look at his video as speaking in the doll. Matty McGrath. When the wash, when, it's, when all the dirty linen is washed, we'll see when the, the clothes are hanging out the line a good summer's day like today, they'll be fairly well stained. And in the washing machine and Dez or whatever they call it, they use now, I don't know, they've more, they've away from Dez, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a bad um, house, homemaker now that I don't do some washing, but I'm not up to speed in, in the the capsules that go in, the type of them that go into the washing machine. But it used to be, it used to be surfed from Dez and when, when I was a Dino, and Tom Crowley, I remember that as well. But look, we have a lot of uh, uh, cleaning up to do. So this bill is not fit for purpose. Just stop talking! Yeah. Just Sorry. stop! So Matty was talking about planning. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I meant it's your bill there, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about planning. <laughs> yeah. And we got lost. We got very, that, that was 33 seconds now. <laughs> I mean, because they, they're very, they're timed on everything they say in the doll as well. And that, that was, I don't know, he obviously had plenty of time at the end of whatever he was saying, You get mixed so, up on yeah. Daz and Surf, you know. Well, it was and in the, the capsules. I mean, we don't know much about yeah. the capsules. But back in his day, uh, Daz and Surf was the big thing. And now yeah. it's like, what's the big thing now? Is it fairy on bio? I don't know, I don't know. My favourite bit is the Ken Corla's face. Sure, he's like, answered, yeah. I don't know. Like, why are you dragging me into this? Yeah. I've got no idea. This is amazing. I'm so annoyed that he didn't do SpawnCon with Surfer Daz after that. That know, would have been a, I know. like you know when <laughs> when Bertie was in the cupboard for was it Mace or whatever. Oh yes. Why yeah, was yeah, Matty yeah. McGrath not in an ad for Surfer Daz? Know. It Next would have year. been it would have been absolutely beautiful. Uh, Michael, you're also coming up. You've got some tours coming up and some dates next uh, next year. I do indeed. Myself and the wonderful Killian Sunderman, who I think you've had on before, oh, uh, will brilliant. be touring our Dublin Fringe show. So we do like a double act thing, and we're going to all around the country. So we're taking it outside of Dublin. So we're going to all the major cities, Dundalk, and then we're going to London uh, at the end of the month or midway through March, I think. So, going to ah, London. We're going to London. Oh, the yeah. big London. Big smoke. Oh, yeah, there yeah, we yeah. go. Let's get the Irish humour. Um, yeah. But with all, like you, your roundup of the year is there. You do it every year. Mm -hmm. It's Very so funny. much fun. Very funny. It's absolutely brilliant. It brings joy to our lives. And we need it. I was in Stitches Watches last night. Very good. It's so good. Michael Fry, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. And people can find out where you are online. All the dates are there. You're all over the place. Yes. Put a smile on your face.